Hello everybody, my name is Maddie. I'm back with another reaction video. I also have some news for you. This channel is being rebranded into a reaction only channel. If you have subscribed to me for other videos such as singing lessons or some of my comedy videos, they are now their own channels. With that being said, today we're going to be reacting to Bury the Light, Virgil's Battle Theme from Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. I don't know jack about Devil May Cry. Never have I ever played Devil May Cry though. I have no idea what this is gonna sound like. This could sound like an orchestral arrangement. This could sound like a somatic score. Somatic, cinematic score. You know, it could be a pop song. I don't think so, but we'll see here. As we listen to this today, I'm gonna give my music producer perspective and analysis of what I'm listening to real time. And I'm gonna hopefully give you some tidbits to gnaw on as we, as we explore this song together. Let's do it. First time reaction to Very Delight. Okay, setting a mood right there. Some low brass. Okay, right away, I hear violin, I hear low brass, but I also hear some th synths creating an atmospheric zone. Is this gonna be a combination of synths and real instruments and orchestra? I think so, I think so, let's continue. Okay, we do have some more synths going on here. It seems like a do 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 do. Maybe even a low electric guitar. Maybe even palm muted or something. Definitely filtered out. I don't. Even, I'm not even 100% sure what that triplet sound is. We have like quarter notes, maybe eighth notes going in do 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 with the violins, and then on top of that we have the do 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 one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. We have triplets with the the chuggy chuggy sound. Let's continue on. <laughs> okay, what? I don't, I was not expecting, I would say that was almost metal. It was like almost like a death metal type vibe. It sounded like super heavy distorted guitars. And what to me it sounded like was an actual synth paired with a guitar. Dun, 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 dun. And then of course you have the classic drum set. Uh, I didn't hear too much double kick or brr, 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 crazy double kick, but I'm, I bet it's coming. I bet it's coming. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, we have some sweet things going on right now. We have a metal theme and we have such a thick, I'm talking juicy, fat, distorted to all heck bass line. Sounds like a synth bass to me. And then in the background, we have some side-chained higher synth. They're swelling in and out, and they're side-chained to eighth notes at this point. Super cool. Super cool. I like what's going on. Very unique arrangement of guitars mixed with synth elements. I love hearing that. Let's continue on. Let's see if we can add some more synths in there. We got nine minutes left. <laughs> Yep, there's another set. Oh, that was a 
spicy chord right there. A little off-key action for you. I dig it. So far, the production has been outstanding. It is so hard to mix that many elements together and have it sound cohesive, especially when you have a synth bass that takes up the whole frequency spectrum like they do. Just insane. The way that they're able to meld all these sounds and not make it sound muddy. Way to go. Coming back in, vocals on point. Yeah, sorry, continue on. This is right in the chorus, but I just, I'm just trying to spitball the things out of my mind. Continue. I mentioned it earlier, but the double kick, I, I, I predicted an uh, absolute onslaught of double kicks, and, and here you can hear it. Awesome. Vocals, amazing. It is not an easy thing for you to be able to scream and distort your vocals like he's doing, especially at those highest of high notes that he did a couple measures back. Well done. Hats off. Continue on. Uh, uh, total tempo change there. Brum, 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 brum. Love it. Okay, that chugging bass line slash bass guitar that sounds super distorted is boo 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 Just chilling on one note, you know? Giving us a very grounded, very just steady root note. And then the rest of the stuff is just kind of based off around that. The drum sets keeping it all together as well. The drums sound phenomenal in this song. Really well done on the production wise on the drums. That, uh, continuing, continuing. <laughs> Oh, those violin little little licks in between sounds so good. Notice that that bass line goes, then the violin lick goes. They don't want to overpower each other. They're both super cool elements, but if you put them at the same time, it's going to be hard for you to determine what you should focus on, what you should listen to. Keeping production and arrangement simple by alternating lines like that is, is super important for a high quality song. Way to go. Casey Edwards, who did the music for this. Or Victor Bor Borba. Probably both. Probably more Casey though. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh, what a sweet drop. Just filtered in. Also panning from left to right. Super cool. Super cool. It sounds like some reverse sounds we're using that too. Love it. Love it.
<laughs> I I have no idea what the hell is, would be happening in the video game at this point in time, but this is just an epic theme. I, I can imagine playing a game, slaying some characters. I don't know exactly what they would, what you'd be slaying in Devil May Cry. Maybe devils, maybe some demons. But you're just slaying characters, listening to the song, going hard. Wow, epic, epic. Good note. A nice high C for you. Why not? Distorted and all. Great job, singer. Okay. Okay. All right, we're to the bridge, six minutes in. That was an especially long chorus. It seemed like they added even more lyrics to it and doubled the length of it. This feels more like a bridge. Constellations of blood pirouette dancing through the graves. That's some imagery right there. Next, we're going to a whisper voice more like. We're changing the timbre. We're changing the tone of the voice. We're giving the person something more interesting to listen to the reason for the bridge is because it can get fatiguing to listen to the same thing over and over again another point of dying down the energy of a song is to bring it back up again if there was a song that was full blast full tilt the entire time like this last chorus was it'd be a little bit tough to listen to for nine minutes however this is what they're doing they're bringing it down so that they have room to grow once again and bring it back up to what it was from an energy and a feel emotional perspective Let's continue on here. Okay, we have something going on called a Reese bass. In other words, a slightly detuned bass that is coming out of different speakers that gives the bass a very wide feeling. It doesn't feel like it's coming at you in the center like it normally would, or a mono feeling bass. That is normally the typical thing to do. This bass is spread a little bit wider. That gives it a very uneasy feeling, especially the more detuned that the notes are. That means they're slightly off pitch, either sharp or flat. The more detuned these notes are, the more it's gonna give you an uneasy feeling and the more it's gonna be like, whoa, too much. And it sounds terrible. It sounds really bad. It's a cool effect, though. This is not too much. Let's continue. It's all the masses, pulling strings, twisting lines as blades hit. You want this power, then come try and take it. What, what an interesting chord progression. Okay, some distorted guitars, An army of guitars. There they are. What? Okay, I think we're into the chorus again. We just built it up. We had that same sweeping, filtering, right before it dropped, but the build was impressive. Very impressive. In my opinion, the best build of the song, which as it should be, this is the last part of the song. This is the climax of the whole movie. Well, not a movie, but the whole, the whole 
artistic piece, right? Amazing build there. Love the chugga chugga guitars, the distortion guitars. Cool. Let's hear it. Let's hear what they add to this last chorus to make it different. Many times the last chorus will be changed slightly to give it a different feel, make it a little, have a little bit more energy. Let's see if they do that. <laughs> I can sing, man. We're back for the same theme after the first chorus. I think what happens is a bit of a tempo change. And it's so jarring because that sound only comes back at this point. Such a different sound than the rest. It's a super distorted synth. And the tempo change, too, just goes in line with that feeling of, of changing it up and, and jarring you. I, okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh my God! What a what a whirlwind of a song. It was a thematic roller coaster of emotions, and that those are sometimes the best songs. They bring you down to a place of, of mystery, wonder, maybe make you feel something like a little bit small, and then they bring it to the big boys. They hit you with the entire kitchen sink, and that's what it seemed like here, especially here. It is tough to make a ten minute song interesting, but I thought that this song did a great job. In order to keep a the listener's attention for 10 minutes, it has there had to be so many things going right, and this song did a lot of them. If you have any more suggestions like Bury the Light that you'd like me to react to, that you'd like me to analyze, give my professional opinion on, please leave them in the comments below. That really helps me out. Hey, I'll stop yip-yapping. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.